there's something mysterious that happens on set and that mysteriousness is what makes you feel alive as a human being and I don't know if many people can relate to it but I remember getting that feeling when I started doing film in high school. Hopefully I can keep that through the rest of my career because I know that's the thing that makes me really good at what I do is this passion for filmmaking. So we're up here on the Williamsburg Bridge I'm doing a shoot tomorrow just trying to figure out the geography of the place there's a lot of technical things going on I'm taking some photos with the surface. Uh, one of the greatest things about these tools is the communication factor. I can take photos, I can send them to all the people on the team who all then have an overhead of what we're doing, like kind of a grand scheme of things. And that's actually one of the biggest challenges as a cinematographer is communicating your vision to everybody because that's, your team is who puts it together. I was very young. We'd shoot these little short films called Kid Cops, and I was the bad guy, my brother was the good guy. And that kind of sparked my initial interest in film. When I was in high school, I had a great mentor. His name was David Wilson. He was producing an NBC TV show at the time, and I started working on set with him. I think I did that for like three or four years of just working on different TV shows and movies. And I got to work on Smallville. The first project I shot was this short film starring Jesse Eisenberg called Some Boys Don't Leave. Yeah, that was a great success. It was an awesome short. I eventually decided that I was gonna start shooting more movies and I got my first opportunity with Randy Ross. Through the film we became really close through struggling and trying to like find all the pieces and make the film complete. We originally met on a feature film uh, and then we started developing other things creatively. Chase and I started shooting fashion films specifically for tablets and mobile devices and when we were proofing them on the tablets we started to try and touch on specific things and realized that there isn't a solution for that. That's when we came up with Cinematique and it allows people to upload their footage, motion touch enable it, like I just touched on one of the dresses that the model was wearing and immediately I can link out directly to e-commerce where I can buy that dress. People are living in taxi cabs, you know, you have five minutes to reach an audience through a video. It's, it's helping to sustain content and products and give them a lifespan that previously didn't really exist. You'll hear a lot of stories about how great movies and how they were made, and they were made in this unique way. I'm really interested in experimenting with that and commercials is kind of a way for me to focus and experiment that discipline on a micro scale. Cinematique, the first product is motion touch enable, but we have ambitions of this whole different thing and ultimately it ends with augmented reality. When I started working in film, I quickly realized that cinematography is a language, it's not necessarily just a, uh, an aesthetic. You're communicating in, to an audience something. To learn that language is to constantly fulfill yourself with these different types of forms of it. And that's what other filmmakers and I draw off each other or communicate with. You know, I try to collaborate with the commercial directors and the feature film directors early on in the process so I can have my voice heard because you never want to walk into a situation where you're forced to light something that wasn't necessarily within the overall scheme of the aesthetic. One of the things that the tablet is really great for is I have a massive library of images that I pull from films and cinematography and music videos and commercials that allow me to communicate to the director or my gaffer kind of an aesthetic that I'm thinking of. You know, it's really hard to articulate some technical things sometimes, so I like saying things through images. Right now, my focus is on kind of the artistic endeavor. I'd like to continue making this commercial and have new technology, new forms of cinematography, kind of exploit the things that these tablets have, such as gyros and GPS and cameras and interactivity and all these really unique forms of like ingesting and manipulating art.
and it's on the brink of being thrown into the world and it'll be interesting to see what it does. Whether businesses and consumers want to actually interact and play with this footage. But in my mind, it's just an intuitive evolution of media. The Surface came out and that's a new platform for watching things and it's touchable. It's just a simple concept.